All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today we are going to do an anti-haul type of stuff, kind of crushing over makeup, but we're not going to buy any makeup. Um, it's just going to be like lusting over makeup um, and trying to get through the holidays. And yeah, I'm really excited for this because there's just so much cool stuff coming out, um, which is exciting to like talk about. But I also like to remind you that just because it's cool now doesn't mean in like six months it's gonna be like not gonna be old news because it probably will be it will be old news in six months and if it's not just get it then <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna get through the holidays together and first things first um i'm gonna say i am on trend mood so anything that i bring up will be from there and yeah i'm just gonna kind of go through and wing it and see what we have up here the first thing that i'm looking at is from juvia's place and it's an eyeshadow palette the law mariposa I think and it comes with six shades and there's also with that collaboration there are two lip glosses one is Miami or no Island Manny gloss which is a coral peach gloss and then yummy yummy which is a soft high glossy shimmery iridescent pink um so it looks really pretty I mean I know that um Juvia's place has like amazing eyeshadows and of course, like the swatches look gorgeous. Um, and I mean, those glitter shades look beautiful, but I just am wondering if this is like an actual, like if it's like glitter or shimmer, because I am down for some shimmer, but not necessarily glitter, unsafe glitter for the eyes. Um, but those also glosses look gorgeous as well. Again, though, we don't need that. Um, you know, a lot of, I feel like a lot of Juvia's Place stuff like looks not the same, but they do work with a lot of colors. So I feel like there's always like going to be a palette for someone um, because of so much, all the different color combos. I know personally, I would not be able to like find a look. I mean, I feel like with those mattes and then the shimmers, I think that I could work with a look with like the golden bronzy brown and then the iridescent pinky purple with the yellow and orange and brown. I feel like I could like get down with that, but I don't understand like the blue. It's it's got that pop of blue, but it looks beautiful, and I'm really interested in trying Juvia's Place eyeshadows, but not right now because I have way too many eyeshadows. <laughs> okay, so next is are gonna be a couple palettes from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and one is the Sweet and Sticky palette, and the other is the Vivid Rose palettes. <gasps> oh my gosh, the Sticky Sweet palette looks gorgeous, especially the swatches. Like, and of course it has, it's next to the, like, the cinnamon rolls, which I think is really, really cute. It reminds me of, like, when we get ready in the mornings, like, which I think most of us, <laughs> most of us can, most of us can say that we get ready in the mornings. It reminds you of, like, the, you know, a cinnamon, I don't know, cinnamon toastiness of, like, a cinnamon roll, and so it looks really, really pretty. I am not, like, sure if I love the yellow, <laughs> that, that shade of yellow, not my thing, but, like, how beautiful are the swatches of I think it's icing drip and sweet cinnamon latte so pretty oh my gosh and then of course we have the vivid rose and that looks beautiful as well there's one that looks like a duochrome really pretty as well um and it has like the pinkies and the like dusty purples so I think that's a really cute um combination however I know that there are quite a lot of pinky purpley type of eyeshadow like palettes especially so I feel like I feel like we can pass on this for sure but they look so pretty so nice there's the sweet and sticky is $30 and then the other one is $45 but that doesn't even mean anything because we're not going to buy either of them so <laughs> okay so the next we have violet Voss, and it's the tie-dye 4 palette tie-dye 4 is that what really what it's called tie-dye 4 do they have multiple tie-dye palettes or something? Um, it's basically a rainbow palette with some shimmers and a, like a row, a bottom row of neutrals. It looks okay. I, It's funny, I'm not really like into colorful eyeshadow palettes, mainly because, I don't know, like I'm just not super, super into colorful shadows. However, I have like, that's obviously a gap in my collection. A lot of what I have is very same, same. It's like neutrals, which is what I name, mainly wear, and then like some warm tone type of a little bit of color, but I don't know, like I'm like, should I explore? But at the same time, I'm like, I don't see myself exploring it. Um, and 
the Violet Voss. I have one Violet Voss palette actually, and I forget what, which one it is. I'm trying to remember. I think it's the Essentials. Um, and it actually has some color in it, so I'm definitely fine with that. It's really interesting. I feel like a lot of Violet Voss palettes, from what I've seen, the ones that have come out recently have been very much like that type of coloring. Like it's like rainbow or neutrals, or you have like, remember those really big ones? I've always wanted one of those big ones. I forget which one it was, but like the hashtag one or something where it was like really big and it had like all warm neutrals. Again, that's like, like where I'm like, yes, that's where I want it. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't, you don't wear that or like you have that already like <laughs> what you do wear you have plenty and what you don't wear you don't need so but yeah what do you all think about this palette I feel like it's like kind of I feel like it's kind of like old news almost what do you all think I feel like this was a thing one of the rainbow palettes was like there were a ton of them oh we have some new lights lacquer nail polishes for their holiday collection. It's so interesting because I think Kathleen Lights, like all the stuff that I know people are like, oh my gosh, ColourPop, you always collab with Kathleen Lights, blah, 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 which agreed, totally understand. However, I really like the color combinations that she picks out. I do think she has like a way with color. I've always said that. Like any eye look that she puts together, I'm like, I don't even necessarily, like it's not necessarily the techniques that I'm like trying to pine after. It's like the color combos that she puts together. I just think that she has like such a good way with with color. And I see this as like the exact same. Um, I love everything that she's put together. I am definitely wanting to try her brand out because I think that it's just awesome. And same with Hollow Taco as well. But I have so many nail polishes and some that I haven't even opened that I know are already like starting to, starting to go. So I don't need this right now. I think this is in the future. I would love to see what she, you know, the formulas that she has and um, check out the colors and everything. But it is a beautiful collection. It's definitely very winter time-esque in my opinion. I'd be really interested to know what those of you who have tried the, um, Lights Lacquer versus the KL Polish. Like, is there a difference in formula and what your thoughts are? Because I think that's, I know there was like a thing that, yeah, that was like a thing that happened. <laughs> so I'm like, I wonder if there's like a change in quality. Um, hopefully, if anything, improvements, but. Okay, ooh, let's like, <laughs> look at this. Oh, I don't love this. Okay, so this is gonna be a two-faced more holiday <laughs> what i thought they already had their holiday um apparently not okay so Too faced has more holiday collection oh dang there's oh wait i feel like we've already at least seen two of these but then two of these look brand new to me so there's a that's my jam let's play and then the other two feel like i feel like i've seen the light my fire and then the kitty likes to scratch Ooh. um so I feel like the Kitty Lights is Scratch palette, I do like that and like that color story. And the Light My Fire, in theory, I like that color story. It's very much like the Yes Please ColourPop shadow or like the Tanasha, uh, Tanasha, um, Natasha Denona palette that was like, <laughs> like the Yes Please palette that I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, I feel like that color story is kind of like old news and especially like having, like I remember the, the yellow, orange, and red, like that color combo in those palettes, I was like, ooh, that like looks so nice. But having them, they were also spread out with like other neutrals and everything. So I feel like there was like a little bit more balance, but having them all together, it just seems very like, and maybe it's just the shades that they've picked. It's very primary colors, like I feel like. So it doesn't look as lovely. <laughs> it looks kind of like hot Cheetos or like kind of something that's like kind of cheap about it. Does that make sense? Maybe on the eyes it'll look fine. Um, but the Let's Play palette, again, I like that color story. I don't necessarily like the gaming aspect to it. Like it looks kind of, again, like chintzy cheap, but I know that Too Faced kind of like balances, like they go like kind of expensive, but then they also get you with like the kitsch. And this is very kitsch, but like not my taste kitsch. <laughs> like I'm good with like the chocolate bar. I'm like, yes, chocolate. But I'm not like a gamer, so maybe that's part of it. So yeah, I like that color story. But again, there's two different cream shades. Maybe one's a shimmer um, in the same palette. 
so that's interesting and then the that's my jam like that color story however i do know from my experience at least and i haven't tried like newer formulas from Too faced but they're purples not a fan of their purples i think they do purples pretty terribly again with the older palettes so there's that on top of that personally i don't want to support too faced um because i feel like the way they handled situ certain situations which you can go ahead and research not my fave not my fave but who knows maybe they'll end up turning things around but personally not my fave okay so next let's talk about sugar pill okay so what do they have here they have the loose eyeshadow bu bundle so it's going to be like pigments i suppose and then they have a li liquid lip colors lip uh lip glosses and then their capsule palette Okay, so this is a lot right now. Let's first talk about the palette. So I know there's people that are like, I hate this. This is the worst packaging in the whole wide world. And others that are like, I can get down with it. I don't necessarily like hate it, but at the same time, I'm not like, whoa, look at this innovation. This is just what I needed. Um, I'm kind of just like indifferent about it. Um, I get it for their theming and everything, so I'm not mad at it, but I don't know. It's also not something that I'm like, yes, give me. Um, but I do really like this color story. I do like what they've been putting out. Those There's two greens up at the top that look really beautiful, um, like a mint green and then like a deeper forest green. I could definitely see that like turning into a look. Um, I like like the pinks and corals and oranges that they're putting in there as well as they give you some lavender and like more of like a plum type of color and then they also of course they got to get you with that like pop of blue and this is like what is it called like the sienna is that what it's called um sienna blue but <laughs> i just think that's so funny and, and hilly blue yeah i mean i don't i don't hate it <laughs> but we don't need it we don't need it and then we have the loose eyeshadows which are like pigments they look beautiful but I'm actually doing a project pigment, which I'm excited for, but again, we don't need more pigments because a majority of us don't use them on the peg, um, unless we're pushed like me, <laughs> I'm pushed to do it for my project. Um, and then I have, we have a liquid lip. Is this the liquid lip? Yeah. We have the liquid lip bundle, which is interesting because it's a metallic pink, metallic orange, and metallic like denim almost like a denim blue i just think like there's not really necessarily a very wearable color in that set so this is for a very specific person <laughs> um they look beautiful i suppose but yeah just a lot of people majority of people will not wear like that kind of orange and blue on their lips um and honestly that kind of pink it's really really bright pink and it being liquid lipstick i know liquid lipsticks are kind of back and forth on like staying in trend kind of not staying in trend um mainly because of masks i know there's with the masks they're kind of like oh maybe we do need a little bit more for that but i think a, a lot of us are like kind of over it at the same time we'd rather just be comfortable and like not wear anything under our mask and then um but yeah and then also they're metallic and i know people that's very controversial for people like you either like metallic or you hate it and then we have the lip glosses and lip glosses look pretty um not much that i can say there other than they they just look pretty oh my gosh i saw this palette and i was like what who is this it's color pop how do... <laughs> i mean here's the thing with a name like color pop i feel like anyone who has the name color pop can get away with like a rainbow type of palette because the word color like lots of color you know it's in your name <sighs> but I feel like this is very like I said very old news um with the colored the rainbow type palette but I suppose they haven't actually they just went through their capsule palettes they never actually did their rainbow palette right at least from what I can remember I don't know they do some, something new like twice a week and then they also have the set with their liners 12 liners and their gel liner, I think, I don't know. I used one of them, the Mr. Bing eyeliner, and I loved that color and I did like their liner. Um, I don't use it on my waterline though. I only use it at the top and I mean, I liked it. So yeah, 
Um, I mean, a nice little set if you're really into colored liners, but we don't need that. And same with like their palettes. It looks like, could be wrong, but it looks like that with this eyeshadow palette that they're like, they have like those glitter shades in there. And I'm just like, that aren't eye safe. And I just like, don't understand it. I know some people love them, but I also feel like the people who I've said or heard say they love them, they also aren't like, so like I need to have them in my palette. It's just like, yeah, I use it if it's in my palette <laughs> versus like, yes, I can't wait to dig into this glitter. Um, so yeah, I guess I just don't understand it, but an interesting set, I suppose like makes sense for ColourPop. Um, and it like the colors look pretty. I just wish there weren't like, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, I feel like that's me with all, like, this is why I'm like on my no buy updates. I'm like, yeah, I mean, like, I just kind of went through this month and not really, like, lusting, lusting out of after anything, like, wanting it for a second, but then knowing that I have all my makeup. And I think maybe let's call it done for now. So, yeah. Oh, you know what's really interesting, actually, though? The Beetlejuice by Melt. That collection actually looks, like, really exciting and fun. Um, but, again, we don't need that, so... Plus, it might be sold out by now because, hey, late to the game. But yeah, there's like some things that I feel like are, they excite me. But then they're, overwhelmingly, I'm just like, I just look back on my collection and know that if I get anything, whatever I'm getting, like I may play for play with it for like a week or two and then it would just sit in my collection and that just doesn't sit well with me. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on all of these different things. It's really fun and interesting to hear your thoughts as well. Um, what are you loving? Have you like bought anything recently? Or are you like me on a no buy slash maybe a no or, or on a no buy slash maybe a low buy? And um, yeah, just trying to get through the holidays. Um, like I said, like right now, I'm, I'm just like, I don't know I'm like how many years into a uh, no buy so I'm just like uh whatever like it's fine like I'm good I don't really need need anything so or like you know I'm not like lusting after anything I'm just like okay <laughs> there's another makeup palette um so yeah makes things a little bit easier but there you go thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a good day